And uh, it should be a decent day for a run, right? It should be right? a beautiful Saturday yeah, morning. Very, very nice. nice. It gets bumpy in the afternoon this time. <laughs> sure. Which it's doing right now, as a matter of fact. Not too bad for Denver tonight. We'll have a couple of scattered, gusty thunderstorms around with the severe stuff. And it is nasty out on the eastern plains, parts of Morgan County, up into Logan County, and right up toward uh, the Julesburg area. That particular cell that's warned just to the west of Sedgwick and near Crook, Colorado, has produced hail baseball size or larger who out of the open territory that's what it looks like from our viero camera in julesburg looking back into the teeth of that severe cell this is what it looks like from our camera in the westminster area over the denver area and in fort morgan we're watching that little wall cloud there that lowering right in here and that is a concern because sometimes that's where you get the large hail and even tornadoes to form but we've been keeping a close watch on it with our exclusive viero camera network and so far it has been behaving itself. Temperatures today back up in the 90s. It's 93 still in the Denver area after a high today of 95, 99 right now down at Lamar. 95 was the high that ties the record for the second day in a row. And the normal is at 79 degrees. We do have an ozone action alert in effect because of the heat. 93 degrees still at the airport. It's cooled a bit relatively downtown to 86. Winds out of the southwest at 13 miles per hour. Tonight up along this front, that's where the strong storms are going to be. A little more humidity up that way. And that'll continue into the early morning hours. That front kind of hangs in there. But across the rest of the state, clear and mild, while some low clouds form by morning way up in the northeast corner and across southwestern Nebraska. Low temperature. Temperatures are going to be mild again, upper 50s to low 60s on the plains, 30s and 40s in the mountains, near 60 out toward the Grand Junction area. So our front range is concerned, mid to upper 50s by morning and 40s expected in the mountains. It's going to be a nice start to the day as we usually see this time of year. Mostly sunny skies that holds through midday. In the afternoon, that weather front moving up into Nebraska, that's going to take the main severe weather threat away from us. Isolated storms possible on the eastern plains tomorrow, not as many. Fire danger remains high across western Colorado. As far as the severe threat, just a slight risk tomorrow. Northeast corner, larger hail, damaging winds up into Nebraska, and only isolated storms elsewhere in the state. Hot again, 92 tomorrow in Denver, mid-90s to the southeast and out west around Grand Junction. Front range area tomorrow, upper 80s to low 90s with a few afternoon storms. Tonight's forecast, a few storms early. The severe stuff's out on the northeast plains, 57 for a low tomorrow. Expect a warm, sunny morning and then isolated storms in the afternoon, a high of 92. This is what it looks like as far as breaking it down tomorrow. With hot again, just isolated storms after 3 o'clock in the afternoon. On the extended forecast, it's going to stay hot. 95 on Friday and Sunday, 92 on Saturday, 93 on Sunday, and then a slight change early next week, a little bit cooler and a little bit better chance of some showers and thunderstorms by the middle of next week. So it's gradually working its way to some cooling, but you're going to have to be patient with it for a while. Eighth straight day or eighth day of 90 or better so far this season. Yeah.